Well, thank you for checking out my video here. I uh, want to do another quick little Steve Good thing. It's a basket, and it's got rings, and he's got these little side pieces that which makes the framework to support them. And you got a lid. It's a double piece lid, and you got a little handle sticks in the lid. Now, re one main reason I'm doing this. This is a fairly relatively simple and quick project, but I have this material, this oddball material I want to use up. It'd be good use for this. Uh, these, he calls for quarter inch for all this. And all of this material I have here came in my seconds package. And sometimes it's in the seconds package because it's not nominal width. So these are, uh, each one of them is a little less than a quarter inch. Uh, a lot of the th things I get will be three sixteenths or, or even five sixteenths, and I can get some seven sixteenths. I mean, it's still usable, but it doesn't, it's not nominal quarter inch or half inch or whatever it intended to be to start with, or maybe even three eighths. But uh, what I got to watch on that is on doing patterns like this, you have these slots like this one, these two pieces fit together and they slot together there in the center. I gotta make sure I make that slot the right width for the particular material I'm using. Same thing for the lid, the little handle has a tab slits down in that slot. I gotta make sure I don't cut it too wide. I'd rather cut it too narrow and have to file it or uh, chisel it out or whatever than to make it too wide. So I've, I've marked them a little bit to give myself uh, an opportunity to cut it a little narrow and I always custom fit it when it comes out. Now these, uh, this is a stack basket with gaps between the rings and the rings are a little bit narrower than quarter inch so they'll be a little larger gap because these these are like half inch. There should be a quarter inch gap between the rings. I'm going to have a little more than that because the, the rings are going to be a little thinner. Not a lot. I think a sixteenth inch maybe. So this should be fairly quick to cut. I got drill symmetry holes here, here, and here. And I'll get that done. I'll get over to the saw. And I think I've got a number three in it that's fairly fresh. I may just use it. So uh, let me drill it and I'll get over there and start cutting on it. Okay, it all cut out pretty nicely. It wasn't hard to cut. Um, what I'm doing here, I've, I've kind of dry fit it. Nothing's glued together. It's fitting together very nicely, and we have to pull these in a little bit as I go up with the gluing. I hadn't got all the patterns removed yet because I'm just dry fitting. But what I'm doing right here, you got this lid. This is the lid, and this is the, the bottom piece that should fit down in there. I want to make sure it fit down in that ring without being tight. 
and also use the ring to make sure I get it centered on that piece. So I'm going to glue that on right now. And then I'm going to start removing patterns here and work from the bottom up, putting that together. Now I didn't have to, you got the little slot in the bottom of these frame pieces. They fit together just right. I cut them really well, but the, the slot for this was a little bit tight. So I sanded that just a little bit and it fits really nice. So uh, you know, I like a snug fit, but I don't want to have to force it. So first I'm going to glue this, then I'm going to start working up on the basket itself. So there pretty much is the finished product. And I've shown it to my wife, took it in there and let her look at it. And she's immediately designated it as a potpourri bowl. So I may be keeping this one. And she, she really likes it. And it's, got a, it's got a snug fit, but that's kind of the way I wanted it. Not too snug. It came out looking pretty good. It fought me a little bit in there, get, <clears throat> getting things to line up and uh, making sure everything was snugged up all the way around, but it wasn't that difficult. I had to get, I got it done. You know, woodworking you never, wood never goes in the direction you think it will. So I hope you like that. And if you do, hit the like button. And this is just a quick little video. I want to try to use some of this material. I, that's kind of what I, when I saw this, uh, that'd be a perfect chance to use up some of that all ball material and get it out of my shop. And so now I can sit in my, my wife's little computer room and be out of my way. So anyway, hope you like that. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.